All right, here we are. This is episode number three. If you're watching on YouTube, Twitch chat, thank you for being here. I appreciate the support. Uh, we have cleared the Sprout Tower. We've got a full team. We evolved Box Fan in the last episode. That was huge. This is attempt number three of the hardcore heart gold wedlock. Heart gold, hardcore wedlock. We do have a Ghastly in the PC. Um, I want to go in case things go terribly terribly wrong but I really don't think they will I do want to use the beginning of this episode to grind up duster and bucket and I know exactly where to go to do this um, there is a place down on Cherry Street where you used to call and talk to me I don't think those are the words at all but I said it um, please run away we can't escape please run away okay Pidgey doesn't get Gust until like level 8, 9 or something. I don't really know. But we don't have a lot of monies. But I do know that Wooper can k Oko some Geodudes. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get Wooper back in here in this route, Route 46, where we caught our Rock Salt. We're going to get Duster to switch train with Whoop, uh, with Bucket. Um, maybe we can take on a Rattata? No, no, we cannot. Please get out. Okay. Uh, we're not going to fight Rattata. We're just going to run away from them. Unless they're level two. Uh, I'm going to switch. You, oh, great. You take that like a truck. Oh my gosh, Bucket. You're so thick. It's, it's a, a deep bucket you got there. How many gallons does that bucket hold? It's a 20 gallon bucket. Just you wait. Okay, yep. Yep. This is good. This is exactly what I wanted to see. Real quick, easy grinding. Bucket takes all of the attacks like a champ to help out Duster so Duster can get some levels. We're going to get some good defense IVs for Bucket and Duster from these Geodudes, and that's okay. Really okay with that, especially for Bucket. Eventually, once Duster learns some new attacks, we can get some different IVs. But for now, this is the most efficient way to get levels on these two. Oh, you have a Chillon, Barry. Oh, don't tail whip me. I don't want any of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There we go. That's some good damage, Duster. Hey, hello, hello. Let's go, Bucket. We are grinding right now in preparation of taking on the first gym. We will be heading up to Violet City once I get these two a little bit higher level. I'm not nervous about the gym at all because I've got Rock Salt and Box Fan, who you can see on the overlay there. And they're both level 12 and 13. Um, and so they're they're super powered, but I just want to get these two grinded up a little bit So they're not behind looks like bucket requires quite a bit of experience to level up. That was her first level compared to dusters Three that she's already gotten from being down here and looks like she's about to hit level six uh, a Level seven so duster levels up way faster than bucket bucket your experience cap is too high Your experience cap is too high bucket you are so needy for the experience, it seems. Oh, goodness. <laughs> I'll slow it down when I throw her out again so we can see that in slow motion. It is cool that she, like, looks back at you like... I can do this. I can do this toolbox. Here, here it is. We're going to see it again. <laughs> and that, that cry is so cute, too. Oh, my gosh. And then she just sprays water all over these rocks like it's nothing. 
such a champ. Man, th okay, this is going like really well. I'm glad I ran all the way down here for this. This is perfect. We have level eight already, and Duster hasn't learned a single new move. Ha <laughs> ha! Goodness, come on, Pokemon. Oh, was that a lot of damage? Whoop, Whooper is your original Gen 2 squad? I don't think it was, it definitely wasn't for me, because I, for Alligator was like my favorite starter of this generation by far. I always, when I, if, if I wanted to roll with my starter of choice, it was for Alligator, Totodile. That was my water type through this generation. But, Whooper, Quagsire is a great pick. Like we were saying earlier, the last episode, the, uh, water the og water ground type that started it all one of the most hated typings in pokemon type combinations in pokemon a quad weakness but only one weakness you know for alligator is awesome and we're level nine without a new attack come on that's even worse than i thought We need some kind of new attack for Duster here. I mean, even Bucket's just like falling behind now because Duster is so, is getting so much attention in desperation for a new attack. Okay, use a potion on Bucket. And save real quick. Yes. <laughs> I did a uh, so I did a rival lock. Pickly, this is a good story. I think you'll enjoy. Zap, speaking of Zapdos, I did a rival lock with my best friend Kellogg. Uh, we did a rival lock of Gen One. He played Red. I played Blue, and we the rival lock basically. If you, I don't know if you've ever watched like Shady Penguin do those, um, but basically. You play, you play a Nuzlocke, but you're kind of racing against your, your friend. And at the end of every gym battle, you do a, a, bat, a, a trainer battle against your friend. You know, like a link cable battle. And if you win, I got to take one of his lower level Pokemon. I couldn't take his highest level Pokemon. But I could take one of his lower level Pokemon and vice versa. So we did this thing where we got to the eighth gym... And he caught a Zapdos, and I caught a Zapdos. And I, I kept it as one of my lower level Pokemon. He beat me. After the 8th gym, he beat me for the first time in all of our trainer battles. He stole my Gyarados. And then when we went to battle one more time before the Elite Four, I had a Zapdos. Or, I, or no, we didn't battle before the Elite Four. But I took my Zapdos out of the PC and gave it nine rare candies so it went from level 50 to 59 and i just ran through the elite four with zapdos <laughs> and i beat the game i beat we were like really close going to the elite four and then i just plowed through the elite four and he couldn't keep up with me <laughs> it was fun that's a super fun challenge to do is a rival lock i would love to record a, a rival lock someday oh i don't have any attacks on whooper zapdos op so OP, especially in Gen 1. If you hit Thunders, because it doesn't get Thunderbolt, it's really hard to get Thunderbolt on it. But yeah, if you can connect Thunders in Gen 1, which is an awesome animation in Gen 1. By the way, the screen goes black, and it's the single lightning strike, and then da 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 da, -da. Oh my gosh, so cool. Land... Going back to, you said Lantern. I think Lantern is a super cool Pokemon, Co like concept-wise, the, the typing, the design, but they really botched its stats. Like, it's just, it doesn't, it doesn't carry enough weight, in, in my opinion, in battles and stuff. Like, it is tanky, but I don't know. Its move pool wasn't that great, and it didn't do enough damage. Like, I don't know. Plus, it was really hard to get Volt Absorb for whatever reason. Its other ability is, like, way more way more common. Uh, Illuminate. And Gen 4, you know. 
Obviously, those didn't exist in the Gen 2 versions. Bucket! <coughs> I need some Geodudes. I need some Geodudes for Bucket here. What are you doing down there? Hi! Man, do either of these get a new move? Duster got Gus, but dang. That took way too long. Hi, Spring. No. Level 9, and we get Mud Shot! Let's go! Shooting my shot. Mud Shot. But you're not ground type yet. Oh, you are ground type. Okay. Gust is not good on Pidgey because it's special. And we have a negative special attack nature. <laughs> Boom! Mudshot. All right, there it is. You saw it. Let's head on back to Violet City. We are. I've done enough grinding. I don't think uh, we will need to use these two. I know. So sad. Pidgey... Oh, I just saved, but I'll save again. We, um, uh, what? <laughs> oh, thank you for the follow. I didn't, uh, I don't know how long ago that was, but thank you for the follow, Cheeky Abs. Really appreciate that. We get the <gasps> follower count to level to 39. I need to put a follower count on the overlay so I can hit 50. Uh, hold on. I'm going to pause that real quick. All right, we're... Sir Wilson channel is up to 39 followers. If you haven't hit that follow button, please follow along. I stream Tuesdays and Saturday evenings for this series, specifically the Heart Gold Hardcore Wedlock. If you would love to follow, I'd love to have you along for the ride. It's going to be a long one. It really is. But I'm feeling really good about this run already. We have some amazing Pokemon. Some amazing Pokemon. Specifically, Fox Fan and Rock Salt. Very specifically, these two. These are like the ultimate pair. Matter of fact, the YouTuber, the Poketuber that inspired me to do this kind of run when he did his heart gold uh wedlock challenge he had a butterfree and geodude paired together is that right no no i'm sorry no they, he had a butterfree and a geodude but they weren't paired together they were paired with other pokemon geodude was paired with his crocodile butterfree was paired with his centret so we're we're kind of close but not really okay now here we are we are ready to go into the gym, okay? This is it. If you're ready to see the Violet City Gym, we're stepping inside. This is home to flying Pokemon. And we have the perfect Pokemon for flying types with Rock Salt. But Rock Salt can't get over leveled. We can't hit level 14. That is the, the big thing. So let's actually lead with box fan and only use rock salt if we need to no i went down yes throw some hypes in the chat atx vgc hypes if you're a part of the community like pickly here i can't believe how ridiculously high this is but from up here you can tell what it feels like to be a bird pokemon let me see if you're good enough to face faulkner all right we're in the gym i'm gonna slow down on the speed up button we've we've gotten to the point where i don't want to use that now let's hit some confusion let's get it on the Spiro. oh that is not the damage i wanted to see that is not the damage i wanted to see either okay where's where's see a box fan get blown out of here rock salt will come in and save the day yeah that was that was way more damage than i want to see thankfully 
A crit would not have killed, but a crit would have killed after the first peck. So that's the main reason I switched out there. You always want to play around the crits in Nuzlocke wedlock challenges. Risking crits is asking for tears. This, this can't be true. Well, the next Pokemon are even lower level, so I think Box Fan can take them out. But here we go. We may, I may level her up and get some free Ghastly Grinding. Yo, some kind of big shot. We'll see what happens if you get pushed around up here. Think you'll stagger and fall? People here are training night and day to become bird Pokemon masters. Bring it on. Bird Keeper Rod. Pickly, um, I, I don't, oh my gosh, I hit the button on accident. I don't know if you're following the fire red. He kind of did. He, he did say, oh, do you think you'll stagger and fall from up at this height? It's like, um, what are you insinuating? What, ha like, is this high enough that I fall? There's no markings here. There's no railings either. At least it's not as bad as Skyla's gym in black and white where that dude just blows across the gym when you enter and he thuds right into you. All right, way to go, box fan. Making that, that Pidgey look silly. And we got poison powder. That's helpful. Oh, and we get sun spore. All right, we got some. Oh, and we get sleep powder. We get all three of the spores, the status condition spores at the same level. That's, that's amazing. I love it. Thank you, box fan. You learned so much right there. <laughs> ah! I love that flex. I love that flex. I'm getting sand and my rock salt. <laughs> but it doesn't stop the attack. The onslaught continues. All right, there we go. Yeah. All right, thank you, Bird Keeper Rod. Um, do I need to heal? Did we take a lot of damage? Box Fan took some damage. I don't want to use a potion. I'll go heal. All right, I'm gonna go heal real quick before we batter, battle Faulkner. But we will take him on in just a second. Oh, it's almost nine o'clock. All right, actually good. That'll be the end of this episode once we beat the gym and, and get all the few things after it taken care of. And then Cheeky Abs, I will be calling you after the stream. Whoever you are, I don't know, but I'm gonna be calling you to thank you for the new follow. <laughs> I know who they are. <laughs> All right, rock salt. Let's get it. Faulkner. I'm Faulkner. <laughs> By the city Pokemon gym leader. People say you can flip. You can clip flying type Pokemon's wings with a jolt of electricity. I won't allow such insults to bird Pokemon. I'll show you the real power of the magnif magnificent bird Pokemon. I always want to say mag... 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 Magnificent. It's magnificent, but I always start to say mag magnificent i don't know magnificent that's what I, my mouth starts to say mag magnificent no magnificent ah oh, come on don't start with sand attack pidgey oh ugh, dang it don't press that button will stop it stop it get some help and there we go we hit level 14 with Rock Salt. Here comes a Pidgeotto. I really, I do want to switch just to clear the accuracy. Box Fan will get some experience for this. That's totally fine. Sends out Pidgeotto! The wind is finally with us. All right, man. 
Yeah, because I threw out my box fan, but now I'm taking it back. He goes for Gust. What's the damage, Calcs? Four damage. Amazing. <laughs> oh, rock Salt! There's not even any accuracy! Come on! Ah, We're missing rock throws. Oh, and we get crit! Rock Salt. Okay, just do it in here. One rock throw. Not quite. We can still fly! You don't know fly. What are you talking about? Please go for roost. Oh, uh, you didn't go for roost. Alright, well I went for attack that won't miss. And it KOs you. Bye Pidgeotto! Let's go! One badge down, zero deaths. Ah, alright. That feels so good. I blow out graciously. <laughs> what? For pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. But a defeat is a defeat. Alright, take this official Pokemon League gym badge. This one is the Zephyr badge. Faulkner is salty. Oh, look at the clouds behind the wall there. With that badge, Pokemon including traded Pokemon up to level 20 will obey you without question. It, is also, it also enables you to use the hidden move Rock Smash anytime outside of battle. Obtain TM51. By using a TM, a Pokemon will instantly learn a new move. Think before you act. A TM can be used only once. TM51 contains Roost. It restores half the max HP. If there are Pokemon gyms and cities and towns ahead, make good use of them. As for your next move, I would suggest Azalea Town. How do you? We did it! Hello, Professor Elm. Hello, Toolbox! We discovered something. The details are, well, I can't really say anything, but we want you to carry that egg. My assistant is at the Pokemon is at the Pokemon in Violet City. Could you meet him and pick up that egg? Uh yeah, I gotta deposit. Now technically this is against the rules, but I do have to deposit a Pokemon to accept the egg and continue on with the game, so we're gonna make an exception here and we get a hyper potion. Thank you for that rock smash there. Rock salt? Rock Lobster! Alright, I'm really, really sorry about this bucket, but you were the last team member, so you go into the box first. It's not permanent. You'll come right back. I just need to get this, this darn egg! And whatever else my mom has for me in here. All right, good evening, Toolbox, is it? I have a package for you from your mom. Here you go. Super Potion. Yay, we got a Hyper and a Super Potion. Long time no see, Toolbox. I've been waiting for you. This is from Professor Elm. The thing is, we would like you to take care of an egg. I don't have an option. After you left, Professor Elm received a phone call. I have no idea what they were talking about. But after a while, Professor Elm suddenly cried out, I can't think of anyone more soon than Toolbox. Then he insisted that I hand this egg to you. That's how I came here to deliver it. Okay, thank you for the play-by-play, -play, dude. That's another reason we've chosen you, Toolbox. Please take care of it. Wow, literally the play-by-play. -play. Want five potions? Uh huh. And oh, one netball. Boom! All right. Oh, come on, oh girl. Me, oh my, that egg must be. I see. So, it was handed from Mr. Pokemon to Professor Elm, then Professor Elm to you. Now, I get it. That egg is truly an important egg. Please do take good care of it for me. Is that understood? I am counting on you. She just, like, did a little twirl and then walked away. Okay. All right. Um, before we go back to the Pokemon Center and save for this episode, we're going to come over here to the Ruins of Alf, uh, because there are some rocks to smash. You like to smash rock. My name is Rock Salt. I smash rock. <laughs> An old amber was in the rubble. All right. 
Let's go. That's awesome. You like to smash rock. My name is Rock, rock Salt. No. We get an encounter. Oh, it's a Geo dude. Okay. That's that's there's nothing. It's a dupe. It's a dupe, which means if I if I have caught a Pokemon of a particular evolution line, I cannot reuse or recatch that Pokemon. They are considered nullified from being used again or being caught again. I don't think there's any other rock smash encounters I can get here. Geo dupe, <laughs> nice one. All right, let's get tongs and screw out in front. They need some levels, unfortunately. Oh no, we will get we will get tongs to evolve. So, uh, of all of the Pokemon on this team, only well, um, so tongs and screw will evolve before the next gym, which is great because the level cap will be eight uh, seventeen. And unfortunately, Pidgey evolves into Pidgeotto at 18. Wooper evolves into Quagsire at like level 20. It's pretty low level as well, but not before. And not before Whitney either, which kind of sucks, actually. That we won't have Quagsire before Whitney. I would really like to have a Quagsire before Whitney. Uh, we have a Quiet Ghastly. It's kind of a neutral trade-off. It's plus special attack, minus speed. Not bad, though. Not bad overall. Definitely like some good special attack. Just don't like having a slow sickle. Hey, look. All the boys are on the left and all the girls are on the right. Just like the overlay. That's cute. Um, Is there anything else I can do in this episode? There's no more rocks to smash. I've gotten all the items. All right. So we will head down here to Route 32 and make our way to Azalea Town. This dude. Wait up. What's the hurry? Gives me the Miracle Seed for beating the Violet City Gym. Uh, yes, that's not helpful, like, really in the game. Well, it's kind of helpful. Let me put the Miracle Seed on Tongs, since she's the grass type. Um, there's no one I really want to teach Roost to right now. I could, but I don't want to. So, here we are. Uh, I'm going to update the overlay really quick before we end the episode. Okay, overlay is updated we have our first gym badge along with a full pair uh, a full team of pairs with no death so far really great run to start this out um it was uh we accomplished a lot tonight i'm really like enthused with the way things went i'm looking forward to picking up the stream again i will stream again tuesday i'm sorry it is tuesday i will stream again saturday night 7 p.m to 10 p.m you can follow my channel come back check it out if this attempt goes well enough i will upload the videos to youtube as an archive series but i want to make sure i get pretty far into the game on this attempt before i start uploading them um as you know the other series have not the other attempts have not gone very far yet so i don't want to upload failed attempts <laughs> but uh yes please come back hang out with me saturday and we're gonna take on azalea and the next gym i'll probably do um, a little bit of grinding, you know, after, before the gym. So that's why it'll be a little bit longer stream. Uh, I don't want to grind too much right now. Uh, be over leveling Pokemon just to go through the, the route. So we'll pick that up on Saturday, 7 PM here on the Sir Wilson Twitch channel. But thank you all so much for hanging out. Thank you for following. Thank you for the new follow cheeky abs. And, uh, we'll see you again Saturday. But that's it for tonight. Sir Wilson out. Peace, y'all.